um, uh, a RISD or RISD plan, clinical development program, was designed to be a robust program that covered the spectrum of uh, people living with SMA. So it included uh, patients from different age ranges, uh, different types of SMA, uh, different clinical presentations, and different exposures to previous disease-modifying therapies. Firefish is our infant study uh, in type 1 SMA, where we enrolled patients between the ages of 1 and 7 months. And um, it was designed to be a two-part study. Part 1 is a dose-finding study. We had a low dose and a high dose. And then part two was designed to carry over uh, the best dose from part one into a confirmatory trial. And so the firefish uh, data that was recently released in the New England Journal of Medicine was from part one, uh, 12 months data basically, uh, in those patients between the ages of, type, of, uh, of one to seven months with type one SMA. And what we observed uh, at 12 months, after 12 months of treatment, we observed that 90% of those infants, so 19 out of 21 of them, uh, survived without the need for permanent ventilation. We also observed that those patients, 33% of them, were able to sit without support for five seconds which is a motor milestone that is very difficult to achieve, is almost never achieved in SMA patients who are untreated. So it is a pretty significant uh, outcome. Uh, another thing we observed um, is that the SMN protein, survival of motor neuron protein, which is a very important protein for normal motor function and the ability to move, uh, was increased in those patients at 12 months by 1.9 fold compared to their baseline. Um, what was also quite impressive is we observed that in the high dose patients, 53% of them were able to achieve upright head control and one baby was able to stand. So all in all, uh, we're very pleased to report out this data and we're very pleased that we continue to release data out of our clinical development program that uh, is certainly shedding uh, more light on the value of the longer-term benefit and longer-term treatment with uh, AVRISD in SMA patients. So SUNFISH uh, is a trial that was designed for type 2 and 3 uh, SMA patients, and it enrolled patients between the ages of 2 years and 25 years. And it is a significant trial because it's the first study uh, that was placebo-controlled enrolling adult patients. So it's the first placebo-controlled study in SMA to include uh, adult patients. And uh, we recently also released uh, um, uh, the results from um, uh, Sunfish Part 2 exploratory two-year data. And what we observed in the exploratory two-year data was um, is actually further established the long-term benefit of treatment with AVRISD in this patient population. And we observed that the gains at 12 months were maintained out to 24 months as measured by um, the MFM 32, so the motor function measure 32, which is a validated scale uh, that is used to evaluate fine and gross motor um, um, skills and um, and it is generally used in people with neurological uh, disorders, including SMA. Uh, we had other measures in that trial, um, and uh, this was also reported out in the two-year data. So on the MFM, let me just talk about the MFM 32. Uh, we saw that those benefits that were achieved at 12 months were actually maintained through 24 months. Uh, we also had um, another measure, which is the ROLM, the Revised Upper Limb Module, and that is a scale that's designed to assess upper limb movement uh, in SMA, and it can capture progressive muscle weakness across the spectrum. Uh, and we observed that um, the motor function that is captured, so using that measure, that motor function was actually increased at uh, out to 24 months. Um, so definitely very impressive results, and we're very proud to see these results, and we're very happy and pleased to be able to release these results and to continue to release data from our clinical development program, establishing the benefit for SMA patients. 
Our third trial in, uh, the, uh, in the program is Jewelfish, and uh, this is designed to uh, pretty much enroll all comers. So it enrolls patients between the ages of six months and 60 years, and it is in previously treated SMA patients. So patients have, who have received other disease-modifying therapies. That study is fully enrolled. And then our last study is Rainbow Fish, and that's for our pre-symptomatic babies. So babies who are uh, diagnosed uh, based on genetic testing, they have not developed symptoms yet. Uh, and those, uh, those patients are enrolled between the ages, you know, from birth to six weeks. And that is currently still enrolling. So between all four studies, we really feel that we cover, we have a very robust program that covers the spectrum of SMA patients from types one to three, different age groups, different clinical presentations, and different uh, history of exposure to other therapies.